So Dana Ikweme has a help, a nanny and a mom all assisting her and she's still complaining. I thought she was very strong. The bunny girl. Yes, I know that a lot of some people might be thinking, but watch all I have to say in this video before you judge, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess Panigo and I am an Nigerian YouTuber based right here in Lagos. Thank you guys for clicking on this video today. Consider subscribing to the channel to the new subscribers and to my returning subscribers. You know, I appreciate it and I love every one of you. Thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. So, yes, Jana Kwebe came to rant, you know, to us. So, definitely, I am here reacting to a rant. Yes, she came to rant about our struggles. Then Kwebe says she regrets not traveling to Saudi Arabia with her husband, which a whole lot of people did tons of reaction videos talking about this, that, you know, it's not going to be easy for her when her husband travels and, you know, her dealing with the kids by herself and all that. You know, a whole lot of people said it. Which I was part of those that said it that's cool, you know, for her to, you know, cope and do all that, you know, by herself, do certain things by herself, the warmth of her husband, you know, the care and all that. I said it in my video. But before I double into everything that Dinah had to say, let me first reiterate, okay? So, okay, guys, um, there's this content creator, Chase Space, who used to be in Saudi Arabia. Right now, she's in London with her family. And she said that her husband traveled first to Saudi Arabia while he was there. You know, it wasn't even easy for her and her husband, you know, and her husband had to tell her that it is not easy that she should come and, you know, join him there, which she went. But, you know, she had social struggles, you know, which YouTube became a sort of, you know, where she was having fun and, you know, entertaining herself. Because Saudi Arabia is not, you know, there's not much of a social life over there. And then her son also, you know, had to, you know, not go to school for quite a while and you know it wasn't mixing with other kids which you know she didn't like all that you know so Dinah saying she regrets it i feel like well we don't know the okay we know the part where you know Dinah equipment husband is because she you know told us but we don't know how lively that area is if she had gone with him and then in a video Dinah said she has a nanny and she has an elf and her mom has been there with her since her husband left you know so imagine that she has three people with her in Saudi Arabia, she's not going to get all that, you know, she's not going to get her husband's, I mean, she's not going to get those nanny, the help, and her mom being there with her. So, yes, imagine Diana's mom being with her for almost how many months that her husband has been away, and, you know, it is not even easy on her. Um, this was the thing I said, having, you know, two kids under, you know, are they on that took it under three yes and she has another child coming on the way there's no way it's not going to take a toll on her then i kept apologizing in the video that she was ranting i feel like she has nothing to apologize for because she needs to let out how she is feeling she needs to come out and say how she's feeling because it is not easy and if she doesn't come out and say how she's feeling some other she's sort of a role model people look up to her some other people will be like, oh, Dinah is, a, she's so strong, she's, she, you know, she's battling with it, she's dealing with it, not knowing what, you know, she's going through underneath. One thing Dinah said also that, you know, I was just thinking about it when she said, um, probably the kids, they've been going, they've been sick, you know, she, she had to go to the hospital around 3 a.m. in the midnight, you know, and people were telling her it's because the kids are missing their dad. Well, I don't know how through that is. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you think that because a child is missing the father, it could actually make the child sick? I've not been really away from my husband. Even when we are, I mean, when we were away from each other, we we're still in the same city, you know, but I mean, we're seeing every, you know, every two weeks or something like that. So I was still going back home. So I really can't even resonate with what Dinah is going through right now. I mean, no, I mean, not having a spouse around her. Now, she, she said it that she has people around her, but I mean, there's still that void there because, yes, your partner, I don't know, it sort of gets you, you know, it sort of, you know, can make you feel, you know, relaxed and calm when you're tense, you know, it can just chat with you and make you laugh and, you know, forget your worries, you know. I can even just take her out, you know, and, you know, leave her, the, you know, the remaining kids with, you know, the help and the, you know, the nanny and just take that in her house to just have a good time and she'll just laugh and unwind, you know, so, but she's missing the, you know, the, those kind of experience right now. And I actually feel for her. One thing that broke my heart the most that she said was that this was the, you know, worst Christmas, the worst Christmas 
ever that she had ever had to experience and it broke my heart so much when she said she saw people you know having fun with their families and you know the pajamas thing they did not allow us to rest this year guys everybody was wearing pjs with their family and taking beautiful pictures and all that you know she said it was the worst christmas ever and i felt really bad when she said that because you know no one has or should feel that way or go through that kind of thing or you know during a merry time you know and i'm sure she probably was facetiming with her husband and talking to him but i mean that void was still there mom is there the nannies are there uh the house is there and there's still a void meaning it's something people should you know think deeply you know whenever your spouse is going to travel and you know leave you guys i mean it's something you should really think about especially when your kids are really really young you know because our mental health is very very important yes our mental health our emotional well-being is very very important we know money is important also but you know there are certain things that are also important that we should take into consideration you know before we take certain actions which diana is saying right now she's even thinking if someone comes to ask her for an advice if they should you know leave their spouse and you know let the spouse travel i mean she's saying hmm, that she's not very sure about that because of the way she's feeling and when diana said you know she appreciates her husband more right now because her husband is a medical doctor big ups to her unlike us that you know we don't have partners that are in that field once your child is warm you're fretting your husband is fretting it is crazy you know i mean you're not getting yourself you don't know what is going on you're trying to reach the doctor or trying to reach someone that can just calm you down or, and all that but diana said in her case she didn't have to go through all that luckily for her her husband is a medical doctor so when the ch kids are not feeling fine i mean she's just chilling and like i mean like guy you should know what to do about all this you should do something you should you know she's just chilling so right now her husband not being there i mean it is a huge huge worry on her and she, when she said she had to take her child 3 a.m to the hospital i could just imagine what the child was going through and you know her being worried and her being pregnant man it is not easy Dinah, I was still going to say you are super strong, you know, I mean, like you are strong and you can get through this. You can do it. I feel like, you know, the dynamite, all dynamite that are going to watch this video or that I've already watched Dinah's video should pour her love in a comment section. Send her so much love in a DM so that she will know that you guys are there for her. 247 tell her that she doesn't have to apologize about the way she's feeling tell her that it is okay if she can't chunk out videos as much as she wants to chunk out right now because she's even feeling bad that she can't put out videos for you know us to enjoy the way she used to and she's feeling bad actually that she knows you guys are feeling bad about it so you guys should make her understand that it is fine she's pregnant she has two kids on ground her husband is not around it is okay for her to even take a break if she needs to but obviously Dina always has her subscribers at heart she has said she's not going to take a break that january she's going to be doing what did she call it vlog vlog noir or what <laughs> so she's not taking a break she's going to entertain you guys back to back in january so dynamite you guys should definitely support her with everything you have so that you know the water that is coming in for her the coins the dollars the pounds everything is entering for her i mean when you see money trust me you're going to be encouraged you know to do more so you guys should definitely support her watch everything support her in every way send her so much love this is me making this video to you know tell diana that i don't know the half of what she's going through because i have not been through it but i mean she has started the journey and as she said we move <laughs> I'm such a clown. Anyways, yes, she has started the journey, so I'm pretty sure she's going to, you know, knock it off. She's going to come out triumphantly. She's going to be, she's going to kill it. She's going to be strong in this. This is me as a fellow content creator and as a mom also sending my love to Dinah Ikwemi that I don't think she should have any regrets about her husband being in Saudi Arabia. And she has an option of actually joining him, but she should know that the nannies, the help, her mom, they are not going to be there for her when she travels down to Saudi Arabia to meet her husband. It's going to be she and her husband. And her husband is going to be working some, you know, very tedious hours. And the whole st stress is still going to fall back on her. You know, so I feel, at least, to me, oh, I have no business, you know, telling her how to live her life or run her own. But, I mean, she brought it to us, so we'll put mouth now. To me, I just feel like after having a baby... Then she can consider going to join her husband when the baby is a bit grown and then maybe then at least when she has done the living process you know she's out of the stress of you know labor and everything 
then she can now consider to join her husband but i think not right now that she's still pregnant she needs all the support and attention that she can get and waking up in the morning betting three children by yourself feeding them doing everything your husband has gone to work when he comes back you need to understand that he's tired and medicine medical doctors they work hard they work hard no be being work you guys get me so I really don't know what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you think then i should just drop everything in nigeria and run down to saudi arabia and stay with her husband or you feel she should just stay after having a baby but then she can consider going to join her husband i mean what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section yes this is my reaction this is all i have to say thank you guys so much if you watch up to this point and i'll definitely see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>